guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have decided to do something stupid at a half, a half eleven at night. Um, why I've decided to do this at this hour, God only knows, because I'm going to soon regret it, because I'll have to sort it all out. It's my empties. Oh my God, it won't even fit on the screen. Okay, it's full. It's overflowing. The lid no longer fits on top. <laughs> Wait, it says on my YouTube that my last empties was 10 months ago. Surely not. Well, I was gonna say, if you've been around here for a while, then you'll know that I do my empties every six months ish maybe grab a snack grab a drink maybe i'll try and make this as short and sweet as possible whilst also showing you everything i have got through in the last 10 months um i still can't believe that I, i'm so overdue i'm so sorry um <laughs> everything i've got through in the last 10 months um as well as mini tiny reviews whether i like things and whether i don't like things let's get into this okay let's start off with a few products that i know i only have one of first off we have the sure woman deodorant i'm sure you've seen it on the shelves wasn't a fan of this one i found that it gave me a mild asthma attack every time i used it it's the crystal invisible pure one wouldn't rate it to be honest wouldn't rate it i've been on my natural deodorant journey um and i can say that i will not be repurchasing this i don't mind other sure deodorants but this one was just not the one for me another product is the elegant touch rapid for dr rapid dry for nails really highly rate this i'd say if you paint your nails often like i do then you would highly 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 enjoy this um it's like infused with vitamin e as well so you can just spray it on your sort of tacky nails i'd say once you've done your hand you can just like leave it for like fluff it around for a couple of seconds spray it and then it will literally just dry your nails so fast i absolutely love this stuff and also i feel like I don't mind waiting for my nails to dry but I always feel like they're at that tacky stage where I'm too scared to move in case I dent them and I've been like waiting there for 10 minutes and it still hasn't dried. This is perfect, I've already got a backup of this, they've actually changed the packaging, it lasted for a very very long time, I highly suggest buying it, it's only like £3.50, it's a total, total worth the buy. I have got two dry shampoos which are exactly the same, this is the, these are pretty grim, I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty dirty, um, these are the Lee Stafford dry shampoo original for oily roots i didn't enjoy this that much i feel like it left too much of a white cast for my liking um i had two of them i don't know how i had two of them they're all right like they do the job i just feel like i had to use a lot of it to see any benefits and for me i have very oily roots so i like to have a bit more of a batiste level dry shampoo where it's really gonna soak up those oils um i really had to like practically empty a quarter of a dry shampoo bottle just to see the results with these so i wouldn't repurchase this again it was good to try a different dry shampoo but personally this was not this was not a droid i was looking for i got through a whole tub of the soap and glory righteous butter this stuff i mean it's not it doesn't smell as good as it did because there's been nothing in it for like 10 months so it smells a little bit <laughs> potent but this stuff smells lovely um if you're after a really nice body butter for like your body to smell nice highly suggest this one soap and glory do some lovely lovely body butters at a really affordable price they're around four pounds in boots and i really really like them i have some others as backups so yeah got through one it took me a while it took me a while but i got through it Okay, I got through more dry shampoo than I thought I'd ever even touched, but it has been 10 months, so I suppose I can let myself off. I got through three Batiste Divine Dark dry shampoos. Um, can I say dry shampoo anymore? This is my favourite. This is my favourite dry shampoo. Um, so that's probably why there's three of these guys. I absolutely love this one. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite dry shampoo. It doesn't give a white cast. Because it's in Divine Dark, it actually is the same colour as my hair. I can rub it in. The only downside to this is once I have put it in my hair, I can't go to bed without washing my hair that night because it like stains my pillows. Not stains, but like leaves a black mark all over it. Um, but this is the best. It makes my hair look clean. I rate it very highly. Some other dry shampoos I got through was the Soap and Glory, the Rush Shower Sensational dry shampoo. Actually really, really liked this one. I think I would definitely pick this up if it was on offer again. It's like a really nice size. It feels nice. It's good packaging. Um, I really enjoyed it. 
it's nice. It has the signature pink scent as well, so it smells like the Righteous Body Butter a little bit. It smells really nice, gave a little bit of a white cast, which wasn't a fan of, but to be honest, once you like rubbed it in, it was absolutely fine. Um, this one here by Sport Effects, the Body Build Dry Shampoo in Fresh Vanilla, smelt lovely. My hair smelt so fresh after using this. I would definitely use this again, I'd be open to use this again. Um, I wouldn't be necessarily in a rush because I know what I like, but I was trying to go on a bit of a, a dry shampoo journey as you can probably tell, I tried loads of different dry shampoos. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it says it's volumizing. I wouldn't say it's volumizing. It was just really, really nice. Both of these I quite liked, and if you picked these up, I don't think you'd be disappointed. They were good dry shampoos. Another dry shampoo that I wasn't a fan of was the Percy and Reed. I'm not actually a massive fan of Percy and Reed hair care, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I just think it's a bit like meh. So yeah, I've got the original and the invisible, and to be honest with you, wouldn't use them again, wouldn't buy them again, I didn't think they were anything that special, so yeah, I mean I use them, that's the end of that story. I got through four Garnier Micellar Cleansing Gel Washes, I have been trying to, <laughs> I've been trying to sort of stop using this so much and to use other stuff in my collection that needs using up first, but this stuff is amazing, it's one of my favourite cleansers. Um, in terms of removing my makeup, I use this to sometimes wash dirty brushes that really have like stuck clumped in foundation in the roots you know like that really satisfying stuff to get out um this is a really really great cleansing wash i wouldn't use it if i didn't have makeup on this is primarily just to remove my makeup and then i go in and second cleanse the actual skin but this is really really great stuff it's about four pounds um, and I really really enjoy it. It's one of my favourite micellar cleansers. Um, on top of that I've also got a big boy here. I've got the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the 700ml which is like the slightly big one because the normal one is 400ml I believe. Um, this is the bigger size. I bought this because I was annoyed of buying loads of little ones and to be honest with you like I feel like now I've used this and compared it to this, like I prefer the gel over the micellar water. And I've got so many other little micellar waters I've got to use up, so I won't be rebuying this anytime soon. I just think micellar water is micellar water and they're all the same really. Um, and this is a little bit expensive, this is like eight pounds, whereas these are like four pounds and I feel like you can't really beat them, but you can like, get other micellar waters that are just as good. So. Won't be repurchasing this anytime soon, but it is a good micellar water, you will not be disappointed. This one, I already have one over there waiting for me to be using, so. I have gone through two Q-Tex nail polish removers. This is my favorite brand of nail polish removal. I just find it so gentle on my nails, um, like not drying my nails out. I don't find it too fumy. Um, I just find it like the best nail polish remover I have ever used. And I really, really enjoy it. I think it's really, really great. I've got the nourishing one here and the non-acetone one. I don't really notice the difference. I've got like the pink one. I've got another one of these over there as well, the nourishing one. The nourishing one is quite nice to be fair. It doesn't dry out my nails too much. Um, and I really, really enjoy this nail polish remover brand. I really, really enjoy it. I just haven't looked back to any other nail polish remover since using this. I just think it is the best one to use. Got a really aesthetic packaging and it's my fave. So yes, these will always be empties in my collection. I got through two in 10 months. That's not too, too bad, to be fair. We will get on to makeup soon, but first I must talk about all the toothpaste that I have got through. If you know me at all, you know that Oral-B 3D Luxe White, 3D White Luxe even, is my favourite toothpaste, okay? I go through variations of them. I've gone through five Glamorous White, which is, this is the box, just looks like this. I've gone through five Glamorous White. I've gone through two Perfection from the 3D White Luxe brand, like range. I've gone through one uh, Blast, which I didn't like the flavor of. And then I had this Colgate Max White Charcoal Toothpaste that I was like not really here nor there about really. I just thought it was a bit gimmicky. I've got through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine toothpastes. Damn, I use a toothpaste a month? I think these are the only cotton pads I've got through, which is pretty good. I actually stopped using cotton pads nearly over a year ago now for any makeup removal. I now use reusable ones, but the only things I do use cotton pads for is obviously nail polish and nail polish removal. Um, I've gone through two bags of just the round cosmetic pads from Primark. These are pretty good, nothing to write home about, they're just cotton pads, but yeah, 120 pads and 100 pads. I obviously got two different sizes, but anyway, I got through some cotton pads, only two bags in 10 months, not too horrific. It could be cut down more. 
by using for nail polish removal. If you know like a more eco-friendly way of removing nail polish, can you tell me please? Because I'd like to do that rather than buying cotton rounds, but I don't really know. I have only gone through one package of wipes. Again, I stopped buying wipes. I stopped, obviously I'm gonna use the ones I have, but I stopped buying wipes completely. The only wipes I buy are travel wipes and they are for emergencies only. And I also make sure I buy the eco-friendly ones that biodegrade quicker than like the normal ones. I mean, I'm, you know, it's like trying to do the best out of a bad situation sort of thing. Um, but I got through one packet of wipes. These are just the cool as a cucumber wipes from Primark. I have no idea if they sell these or not, but obviously this isn't great for the environment to have wipes anymore. So, um, well, it's never been good for the environment to have wipes. I'm just saying like, I'm more cognizant of it in the past three years than I have been in the later years. Um, so I only got through one packet of wipes in 10 months and that's not because I bought them. That's just because I had them in my drawers. So yes. Okay, let's talk about a few body washes. There's probably gonna be a few more in the bucket as we go, but um, I've grabbed as many as I could in the hands that I have. Um, so let's talk about a few now. So I've got the Aussie Megawatt uh, body wash. Um, this is the invigorating one with Australian ginseng. These are actually really nice. I feel like Aussie products always smell so lovely. Again, it's plastic. It's a non, well, it is recyclable, but it's not exactly like an eco-friendly brand. Um, so I won't be repurchasing this, but I just had it in my drawers to use and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the scent. It was a very nice body wash to use. If you have it or you've been looking at wanting to get something from Aussie, I highly recommend their brand um, simply because of the scent and that they're really nice. However, I can't recommend it on the basis of being eco-friendly. I personally prefer to purchase now going forward products that don't have such a um, like bad environment footprint if that's the term. I also have this Bath and Body Works Iced Pear Margarita Bath no nope, shower gel. <laughs> um, Lily actually got this for me about five years ago maybe maybe longer. I'm not too sure. Um, the story behind this is that she bought this for me when she went to America many moons ago, many moons ago, and I used it as a treat because it smelled so good and it was from America and it was so beautiful to look at because I had this cute little bottle. And then, I don't know, like a month ago, I was like, why am I hoarding? Why am I hoarding shower gel? This is ridiculous. Uh, so I used it and it still smelled divine. So God knows what preservatives were in this because it smelled perfect, like five years later, probably more, but it was, it was a good, it was a good shower gel, it smelled nice. But again, I can't recommend it because it's not eco-friendly. It was a nice smell. If you don't care about the environment, it was a nice smell, but it's plastic, you know? I had this Yardley London Daisy Luxury Body Wash. I actually use this to wash my brushes um, because I didn't like the scent of it that much. Uh, I don't know if you know Yardley, but it's like a Boots brand or it's in Boots. Um, and I got it in a Christmas set, I think it was. I can't remember. I liked the perfume that it came with, but I didn't like the body wash scent. It was something about it that I didn't like on my body personally. So I used it as a makeup wash brush situation and it worked good. It worked good. So I used it up. I also had this from An Anatomicals. No one gets flirty with the dirty pick me up body cleanser. This was good. It was very like gel consistency. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't got much to say about it. Nothing to write home about. It was just a body wash. These two are a bit more eco-friendly. So this one is the Natural Body Wash um, Relaxing Geranium and Peppermint um, Aeroplane and Travel Size. And this is by Green Frog Butanic. This is, yeah, 0% parabens, cruelty-free, vegan, um, and the thing is recyclable. I don't think it's made of post-consumer recyclable materials. It's more like good ingredients, and then you can recycle the packaging. But at least they've kind of hit the ingredients, you know. If you can't hit one, hit the other. So I try to now look for, you know, either good ingredients or good packaging if I can both um, but this hit the ingredient mark um, it's good ingredients it was nice I didn't like the consistency of it it was like it was like too thick for my liking and not thick in a buttery way thick in like a, a, a lumpy way like thick in a weird way I didn't I didn't like the consistency. The smell was nice, I just didn't like the consistency. I will not be repurchasing this again. I have a Lush Sleepy Shower Gel. This smells sensational. It smells gorgeous. It smells just like lavender. Obviously Lush have post-consumer recyclable products in their line. I'm not sure if this one is particular. I think the pl black plastic might be, I'm not sure, but you can recycle it again. Um, and then obviously everything inside it is vegan and cruelty-free. Is it vegan? 
yeah it's vegan and cruelty free um which isn't always the best thing like vegan i'm not gonna get into it but like vegan isn't doesn't always mean like natural they're two different things um but this was really really nice and i highly recommend the lush shower gels i might buy the shower gel bar next time so that i don't have to have the plastic version um lily actually got this for me in like part of a christmas set and i repurchased another one in another set um, because I loved it so much and it was like the set was on offer like a different set and I was like ooh I liked that sleepy shower gel um, it smells really really nice and if you love lavender you'd love this oh I have another shower gel this is the body shop cranberry joy bath shower gel this smells like cranberries again got it in like a little Christmas set I think and I was just trying to use up all of my small size things um really nice like the body shop again don't like the plastic on it but it can be recycled luckily it's not really nice though so yes okay i have some shampoos to show you this is the philip kingsley body building shampoo whoa to you it is just a white bottle brilliant okay we'll just take my word for it it's like yellow on white to be fair so it's pretty hard to see anyway but the philip kingsley body building shampoo it was good just not for the price it smells lovely i wouldn't necessarily say it gave me body to my hair i have very flat hair on my roots and i wouldn't say it necessarily gave me any body but it was nice to use i wasn't anticipating the end of it it was very nice i think i got it in a beauty box so i didn't have to pay for it it was good it washed my hair another one i used was the mark hill miracolius why did brands do this Miraculous nourishing shampoo with moroccan argan oil this smelt divine it smelt so lovely um i wish it lasted a bit longer it did have more of an oilier consistency like more of a nourishing consistency um and it was really really nice i really liked it i got through my function of beauty shampoo um i actually refilled my conditioner with just another conditioner because the bottle broke but i did get through the conditioner as well but i did put this in here to remember to talk about the uh, function of beauty shampoo and conditioner really really liked it it's quite expensive for what it is but you know a gift to yourself perhaps or a gift to someone else it's it's fun it's a lot of fun and i'm also going to keep the bottles after to put other shampoos in to dispense with the bottle pump very nice and then the other two things were lush bar shampoos i couldn't tell you which ones they were because there's no label on them which is not very helpful no idea i think it was the scenic one the blue one and the honey i washed the kids i think those are the two i used that sounds about right okay here we go a little bit of makeup for you or makeup items i got through two pairs of lashes like when i say got through sorry that my hair's a mess by the way it's like 100 degrees in here and i'm about to melt um, i used up two pairs of lashes they are like on their last legs they could not even be used anymore they were just they were hanging they, they were they were dead um these are the eyelure enchanted beloved ones some very natural lashes i'm do you know what i don't even want to show them to you because they are that disgusting and i also got through the peaches and cream number one lashes peaches and cream do some really nice lashes so do eyelure i'd say they're on like the same basis in terms of longevity they probably last about three to mm, three uses i'd say maybe four pushing it um it depends on how well you look after your lashes these lasted about five for me simply because I am so careful of how I treat my lashes but usually three to four uses is about, is about average I'd say um yeah really really liked these enchanted I wouldn't repurchase again but I would definitely repurchase the uh peaches and cream ones these are really nice oh, I found another little shampoo I told you there'd be like random little things coming through here this is the Philip Kingsley flaky itchy scalp shampoo oh wow my camera's washing everything out I'm so sorry can you just about see it there this was good i remember using it and thinking damn it i wish this was bigger um i mean i only used it like twice so i can't really give you a good review on it but the philip kingsley shampoos are pretty nice i just don't think any shampoo's worth a high price tag in my personal opinion especially when you can buy like a shampoo bar for like six to eight pounds and they last like 60 washes and they're like non-toxic and good for the planet so Okay, I have a few cleansers here in front of me. I have the Simple Kind to Skin Vital Vitamin Foaming Cleanser. It comes in this nice pump. This is really nice. It comes out literally like a foam in your hand. I wouldn't necessarily say it gives you a deep cleanse. If you don't wear a lot of makeup, you just wear a little bit and you just want to remove your makeup and give your face like a nice little wash and cleanse, this is great. But if you're like me and you wear a lot of foundation and primer and you really want to get into those pores and clear them out, it's like 
okay like someone like my mum who only wears a little bit of mascara eyeliner to work or you know things like that she doesn't apply a lot of base makeup it's great because she hasn't got a lot to clean off I do um so this is great if you don't have a lot on your skin to begin with but I feel like it's not deep enough for me so I won't be repurchasing um I've got the Murad Essential C Cleanser this has got uh, like vitamin C in it smells really good it smells like oranges this was just like a little sample size I got in a beauty box really really enjoyed it I had like little tiny beads that kind of crushed into your hand I think they were like supposed to be like orange zest or something this was really really nice I would repurchase this again um maybe like when I come full circle and I've got nothing left in my beauty drawers um this was really really nice this is really nice apart from it's in plastic if it's in like glass I'm more inclined because I can recycle that better but yeah this was nice and then I have the Laid Bare DIY 2-in-1 Cleanser and Toner. I will definitely be repurchasing this again. Once I've got to the bottom of my skincare drawer, this will be like one of the first 10 things that enter my drawer again. This was amazing. Um, it's by an indie brand called Laid Bare. I think it's a UK, UK brand. I'm really drowning everything out of my camera. I'm so sorry. Um, this is like six pounds it is a little bit more expensive but then i suppose it's no more expensive than the guy in my cellar water and this removes makeup it made my face feel squeaky clean it felt so good it smelled good it's just a really 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 good cleanser i'd highly recommend this i think it was in one of my favorites this year i really really enjoyed it and yeah i highly recommend i highly recommend it's made in the uk indie brand it's great supporting local not local but supporting smaller brands um and it did a good job at the end of the day you know small brand or big brand it did a good job and uh yeah i can really really recommend it i got through a simple toner uh yeah kind of skin soothing facial toner wouldn't repurchase again didn't do enough for me didn't make my skin feel great loving the dr house one at the moment love being that one this one i'd rather just it just no it just it smelled like smelly water like good smelling water but just I didn't see any difference so we'll be repurchasing this one again I don't rate it I don't think it does enough it's just a bit meh I got through a physician's formula eye makeup remover lotion it came in this tiny little bottle it was like a white lotion it just felt like an oily lotion nothing to write home about I mean if you have it I don't doubt that you won't dislike it you probably will like it but I won't be repurchasing it again that's my uh, synopsis. Oh my god, in 10 months I only got through one foundation and it doesn't even look like I got through it, but it, I have. Like you can see, I don't know if you can see the scratches on the bottle, like the inside where I tried to get the product out. Like there is nothing, nothing in here. It's completely empty. Um, this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. Recently Bourjois has left the UK since Brexit which is really, really sad um, because this is one of my favourite foundations. I've got like two more as backup taking like precedent in the back and I'm like scared to use them but I got through one of these um it's a really really nice foundation if you've got dry skin um or you just want a light coverage this is a great foundation to try obviously if you're in the UK you might be able to buy it on Amazon still but you can't buy it in any super drug or boots anymore which is kind of disappointing but I got through two setting sprays I got through a MAC Fix Plus uh, Prep and Prime love this stuff I've got another one as backup it's taken me a long time to get through this because I've been so like frugal with it but i've just started using stuff up like i need to stop being so frugal um, and i also got through an urban decay chill makeup setting spray it's so old the packaging has been replaced twice that's how old this is it's old but i used them up because they needed using they're both good i highly rate them both i have backups like more than one backup of each of these they're good they're my favorite setting sprays look how apt a, uh, a hand sanitizer this was this was before the days of covid i finished this up that's how much i love this this is the cuticura moisture advanced protect hand gel this again has been in uh monthly favorites it's a brilliant brilliant hand gel it doesn't smell too perfumey i hate perfumey smelling hand gels who wants that i feel like i just want to have clean hands that smell lemony and clean this one smells of like cucumbers and lemon it's, it's divine i love it everyone who i put this on their hands loves it it's it's the king the king of uh, hand sanitizers and it has little moisturizing pearls in so it doesn't dry out your hands the king of it i love it i've gotten through one two three five mascaras we've got a nars climax mascara right here 
I don't recommend this. I don't highly rate this. The packaging is lovely. That's all that's nice, really, is the packaging. I don't, I don't rate it after that. It's just, I might keep it. I might wash it and keep it for the packaging. I didn't see the hype over that. Um, I got through the 5-in-1 Wonder Lash Mascara by The One. I got this in a beauty box, I think. It was okay. It was nice. Nothing to write home about. Would I repurchase it again? No. But it was nice. I wasn't, you know, praying to get to the end of it. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This is a really, really nice mascara. A little bit too out of my price range for me. I don't like to spend too much on mascara. I find it just like... I hate spending money on mascara. Drives out the wall. Um, but this Smoky Eye Mascara was really, really nice. It gave me a lot of volume um, at the root and the tip, which I really appreciate. A lot of volumizing mascaras only give you volume at the root, and then it just kind of like does nothing at the tip. This did it all. Uh, I really, really like this. If this came into my life again, I would not be mad. This was this was nice. I also got through a MAC. What is this? Just a MAC mascara. I have no idea, but it's a MAC mascara. And I also got through a Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, one of my favourite mascaras, well, one of my favourite lengthening mascaras more specifically, um, if I want to just have like a fluttery look or like, I don't know, this is like the perfect mascara also to pair with false lashes as well, because I can just do a little bit of mascara just to like lengthen my lashes out enough, like coat them enough, and then I pop on some lashes and it like blends well nicely. Um, I, I love this mascara, it's really really good. I'm growing in concern that the only brow products I ever seem to use are the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencils. I got through three of them in 10 months, and I think that's me trying to restrain myself as well, because I would have got through more. I've also got through a Precisely My Brow Pencil. The packaging looks so nice that I don't want to throw it away, it's kind of upsetting to me but um, all good things must come to an end, I suppose. Um, and yeah, these are the brow pencils I got through. Three in Dope Taupe Precision Colourpop Brow Pencil, my favourite brow pencil to walk the earth, I love it. And then a number three in the Precision Brow, which is pretty good. It's a bit more hard formula than this. This is, this is King, this is Prince. They're very good. I also got through three concealers. I got through the Maybelline Instant Age um, Rewind Eraser Concealer. The one with a little sponge on the top that you twist up. I feel like I don't want to show these things too up close because they're actually pretty grim to look at. Like they've been sitting here for a while. This is kind of gross. I also got through the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I am going to have to keep this because it's in my project pan. So I'm going to have to keep it for the rest of the year, which is kind of minging. But um, I got through this. This was in my project pan. It was one of the things in there and I did it yay me, um, in the shade C2. I would actually repurchase this again. This is actually really nice. I'd say these are dupes for one another. This one I probably like a little bit more so, the Maybelline one, but the Revolution one was a good dupe. It's like half the price. Really, really enjoyed these. And then I also had the number seven Hydroluminous Dark Circle Concealer. This was such a shame because I love the contents, but I don't like the packaging. This one has a sponge tip applicator as well, but it's not as like floofy as these ones. It's not like a soft and mm, like velvety. This one's like a hard like non-hydrated sponge which bothers me but I got through those three and I have another tiny brow product it's a tiny gimme brow in shade one I got this in like a box some sort of box it's the wrong shade I'm not shade one I'm shade three um but yeah got through little tiny little tiny baby gimme brow look how tiny it is I got through some more cleansers I went through the Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser I don't recommend this at all I found it I'm really sorry that the camera's washing everything out, but you can kind of get a gist of it, and I'm saying it. Um, this is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I did not like this at all. I found it too greasy for my liking, and it just felt like I had a film on my face after I finished washing my face. I just don't like that at all. When I use a cleanser, I like to feel like my skin is, like, almost dry from the... Not dry, but, like, I like to feel like my skin needs some moisture put back into it because I've washed everything away, you know? I, I feel like I like to strip it from any crap basically and I feel like that just gave it a film over my face I did not enjoy um I also tried the Oromovitia can you just about see that I feel like my camera is washing everything out I'm so sorry but I really can't be asked to go turn the camera down um it's the cleansing foam uh, this comes out like fish poo you know like a long trail have you ever seen fish poo I don't I don't know it comes out like a clay fish poo consistency like a long squiggly tail and um, then you rub it in your hands it's nice would I pay for it again? No, I don't think it was anything to write home about. But it was nice, I enjoyed using it, and that's the end of that story. Okay, I'm going to talk about these very quickly because 
I'm pretty sure you could catch something quite deadly. This might be the next COVID on these sponges. In fact, this one is mouldy. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have two sponges. I think that is powder, to be fair, because I did use it and didn't wash it and put it in. <laughs> this is the Real Technique sponge. Enough of that. And this is the Eco Tool sponge, which is less mouldy, but still pretty disgusting to look at. So I'm going to put it back in. I got through those two sponges, and by got through, I mean I used them to death to the point where I thought it was acceptable to put them in here. Gross. Again, part of my project pan, this is covered in some sort of something, is the Sealer Magnificent Metal in Kitten. A really, really nice shade. They, you know, they use Kitten for everything, so... Oh my god, what is that covered in? I don't want to know, but like, I used it up, okay? It was only a mini. Okay, this is the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. Really, really like this. I have many backups. I highly recommend it. It's very nice. Wouldn't pay the price for it. I got them in beauty boxes and then repurchased the same beauty box like several times to get this for like £10 rather than £50. But it's really, really nice. It smells great and it really nourishes the face. I have a Body Shop Butter in Mojito. This was nice. The smelt of mojitos. End of story. Ooh, this is one I wanted to talk about. This is one I used recently. This is by Zit Sticker. I recently purchased the whole like back like pack of these. This is just a sample one. If you've ever tried a Zit Sticker before, you'll know that it's very unique. It's like a patch for a spot. It has like loads of like spikes that you press into your skin. It's kind of like uncomfortable for like three seconds because you've just put loads of spikes into your skin, but they're like filled with ingredients that like dissolve into the spot and it was just amazing i tried this one patch this one patch over a spot that would not go away for three weeks and overnight the thing was gone so i was like well that is a good sample so i'm gonna now purchase it for 20 odd pounds which is ridiculous but oh, it was so good it was so good so i had to buy it it's really really good i have the glam glow super cleanse clearing cream to foam cleanser this was nice it smells of licorice it did I had to use this intermittently because I found it did dry out my skin a little bit. So if you've got oily skin, this might be quite good for you. But for someone with dry skin, I found it a little bit too drying on my skin. So I had to use this intermittently and it took ages to use, but it was very nice. I also got through the Cloran Floral Water Makeup Remover, essentially micellar water with a scent. Very, very nice. Obviously, it's only a tiny little sample size. Um, if it came into my life again, I wouldn't be angry. I wouldn't necessarily go venturing out into the big wide world for it though. It wasn't like life changing, but it was nice. I went through a Mary Badescu enzyme cleansing gel. This I can't make up my mind on. I have a full size on this as well and I can't make up my mind. I think it's nice. It's, it's got a nice smell and it cleanses well. I'm just not sure, but it was nice. I just don't know if I can recommend it yet. You'll know when I use up my big version of this you'll know then. Ooh, okay, let's get into masks. So I got through this lab sample of the Origins Project Dragon Fruit. I, they had two. We're going back like a year now and they had like a, a turmeric one or ginger, ginger. It was ginger and dragon fruit. And I've used up all the dragon fruit. I haven't yet used up the ginger one, but I used up the dragon fruit one. This was really, really nice. I can't remember which one they went for, but both of those masks were nice and I would definitely repurchase again. Um, it was a really, really nice mask. Origins do some brilliant skincare. Um, I also got through the La Fierie des Volcans. Nor, I don't know, I don't speak French. It's a French face mask. I got it in a box. I have like three of them. It was very nice. If you ever come across it, you won't hate it. It's nice. I don't know where you can get it, so I can't really recommend it. I also forgot how much it is, but it was nice. Okay, the last few items in here before I go on a mask rampage is the Cetaphil Moisturising Lotion. Very nice. Unlike the cleanser, this was very nice. It moisturised. Um, another mask I have is the Mud Masky Morning Boost Mask. This is like a coffee one and you only keep it on for like two minutes and it's great. So like you can apply this as soon as you wake up um, and then like brush your teeth and then by the time you finish brushing your teeth you can take it off again. Um, it smells like coffee, it definitely wakes up your skin and it left my skin feeling really like Oh, fresh, energised. Yeah, it's nice. And I also have the Polar Ice Source Moisturising Gel with Glacier Water. This was really nice. It's like quite a runny moisturiser, but it's really deeply hydrating and it smells really fresh. It was very nice. Again, very nice moisturiser. I got through a pack of Bure Deep Cleansing Pore Strips that looked like this. How fun. This is the last and final bit. I'm so sorry this is so late. It's now one o'clock in the morning. 
So if my voice is hushened, hushened, silenced, quietened a little bit, it's because it's one in the morning. So, yes. We'll be quick with these, we'll be quick with these. This is just all sheet masks and then we can wrap up this video. This is the Crystal Radiance Essential Moisturiser. This wasn't a mask, I'm sorry, I thought it was a moisturiser. By Rose Essential. Um, overpriced, wouldn't recommend. Disgusting price, no. Um, the Real Sheet Mask by Miss... Miss H.A.? I don't know what brand this is, but it was nice. The Bio Bell Hydrate and Vitalize Face Mask. I like these face masks. I believe, yeah, paraben-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, um, and the, like, the sheet mask itself is, like, made out of a fibre that is biodegradable, so I really, really like this, and the packaging is cool. It's got, like, a little cupcake on it. Again, I thought this was a sheet mask. It was floss picks. Um, holy moly, it's Tony Moly. The Pureness 100 Sheer Butter Sheet Mask Moisturising. A friend got this for me as part of a Christmas present one year, like, little like stuff pack or birthday present I can't remember um this was nice but it wasn't good for my skin I broke out the day after I do remember this one because it was very moisturizing and I was like my face feels like an angel's kissed it and then the next day I had like seven zits on my face so I really really like this one this is the uh Soap and Glory the Fab Pore Refining Mask really recommend this one this like made my pores smaller it was amazing it was sensational and I loved it um, and it kind of like got rid of loads of little lumpy bumpy texture like I get some bumps across my forehead sometimes and this mask got rid of them all like overnight which was amazing I got through a hint of a tint colour shampoo I got through a fresh peach foot peel mask which was very nice it made my feet peel it was very satisfying gross but satisfying I got through a soap and glory radiance boosting vitamin C mask very nice gave my skin freshness I liked it. Um, the Unwind by Hask Savion Blanc Deep Conditioner for your hair. I used this as a mask. It was very nice. It smelled good. There was a lot in it. Very nice. The Beauty Pro Brightening Collagen Mask with Vitamin C. Very nice. I remember liking this a lot. The Body Shop uh, Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. I like the Body Shop masks as well. They have like a good shape to them. Like the shape of the mask is a good one. It's like a good fit. A very nice mask. Oh, I got through another one of those foot masks. Remember that, that peachy foot mask I told you about? It smells of peaches, by the way. It smells good. It did a good job. Um, I got through a deep seawater one by Miss Ha. Miss Ha Ha. Miss H.A. I don't know. I must have got this on like AliExpress or something. I don't know, but it was good. Um, some Glossy Box Bubble Tea Collaboration Angel Dust Foaming Bath Powder. That's not a mask, but I got through it. Um, the Rose Essential A3 or A Cubed. A3, A cubed silk mask, advanced anti-aging. Another one, Miss Ha. Miss Ha Ha. Hyaluronic acid. This was good as well. This is the brand OK, um, and this was the bubble sheet mask. This was fun. I remember this bubbling up. This was good. This was good. This like gave me really soft and supple skin. I liked this. I got through some Primark 4 in 1 step cleansing aloe nose pore strips. Ooh, another Body Shop Vitamin E Quench Sheet Mask. I told you, I did like the Body Shop Sheet Masks. They're very nice. Uh, ooh, this one's good. The Beauty Pro Nourishing Collagen Mask with Olive Extract. This one was really nice as well. Very nourishing. And the Natura Rose Infused Sheet Mask, Calming and Hydrating. Again, very nice. I liked this. The Opiat Nourishing and Hydrating Face Mask. This is like a powder that I had to mix in with water and I had no idea until I opened it and got the powder half on me. But this was nice. It was very odd but it was nice. And then finally, we have the Space Masks mask, which I love, because it's like, I won't put this on my face because this has been in there for 10 months, but it's got like these these things that you like put over and hook onto your ears. Um, and it's got like these heating pads, which once you get it out of the packet, they warm up and it goes over your eyes and it's so warm and it's so calming. And I love it so much. In fact, I even bought some. And you know I love something when I actually buy it and don't wait to receive it in a box. And those were all of my empties. I'm sorry that I'm not like whoop whoop, but it's now it's now 20 past one. Uh, I'm tired. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. But first I'm gonna have to go and recycle all of this downstairs, put it in the big recycling bins, sort through it all. <sighs> that does sound like a tomorrow job though, doesn't it? That does sound like a job that I can do tomorrow. So yeah, that has been my 10 months worth of empty products. Thank you for joining along. Thank you for being part of the emptying 
process. Tell me, do you think you get through a lot? Like, would you have got through more than I have? Or would you got through less? What do you get through the most? I feel like I get through skincare and body care more than I do makeup, but I've been really trying to make an effort like to go through it all, evidently with like the masks and everything. So yeah, I feel like I get through that more than like the makeup side of things, but maybe that's, maybe that's typical. I don't know. What do you get through more? Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, do not forget to give me a good old thumbs up. Go check out some other content that I have going on because not everything is 10 months overdue, I promise you. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me. No, you would not. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you. I love you all. Stay safe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.